Welcome, my name is Damien, uh, Application Engineer for Solitech. Today we're going to have a quick look at large design review. As you can see we have the ability to open very large assemblies. This one has nearly 6,000 components in it and we're able to open that nearly instantly and we have access to a host of tools that we would enable us to view, pan, rotate and manipulate our geometry. We can select items from within the model and open them directly and we can show and hide. So for example we can, uh, I'm going to select the base at the bottom and we're going to hide the whole of this structure using the standard SOLIDWORKS tools. We can also come in and use window select tools to hide and show geometry in a normal fashion. This enables us to hone in and look at very large assemblies without the overhead of needing advanced hardware. So we can also isolate components on their own. We can manipulate and change the view settings as we see fit. And to come back it's as simple as exiting or isolate. Okay. What we're also able to do is add and preview existing walk views. So we're going to just take a quick look at that. We're going to add our own walkthrough. So this can be used using a space mouse or in this case we're going to just do it with the by looking using our keyboard and mouse. So we can start doing a walkthrough and when we're ready to, to look through here, I'm going to slow my cursor down, we're going to record a very simple walkthrough. So just using my arrow keys and my mouse I can look around my assembly, I can inspect elements, record this for playback to the rest of the team at any point I want. Okay, and that'll do for now. So we can see we've played that recording at any point, and it records my every move for playback. And this can be used later in the full assembly for creating renders or wh whatever we're after. Okay, so you'll see uh, the other walkthrough I made earlier. Oops, just come out of there. We can play our previous recording. We can see that we actually got this to follow a sketch line from within my model. And this was done in a normal assembly mode. But even in this large design mode, we can work with really large assemblies. Other areas that we're allowed to, able to, to work with in here include snapshots. These allow us to take a snapshot of um, any aspect of our model and these record oh, let me just come out of there these record information not only about the view but also about visibility so we can see it will hide and show different components depending on what I'm after so for example I could add another one in here maybe this hatchway is something of interest to me I can say capture a new snapshot and we're going to call this one O-ring replacement. So the next person to open this up in large assembly mode can have a look through each of these and we can also add our own comments onto here. So we're going to add a comment and say uh, check seal and replace with a with new design. And I'm also going to add a quick date and timestamp. OK, so you see you hover over this, it tells us that. We've also this diverter area, it says please check the clearance between the diverter valve and the, and the housing. So other tools we've got available to us are the ability to cross-section. In here we can see we can create a cross-section we can move and rotate this cross section like any normal cross section we would. And even inside of here, we're able to do some measurements for our structure. So we're going to use our measure tool. 
and we're able to measure from here to here and we can see we clearly don't have enough clearance for this fastener to be able to come out. Okay, so directly from within here we can open our components so we can select these from the tree interrogate and make changes as necessary save the components and when we return to the assembly we can uh, see those changes be updated straight away. And we can carry on manipulating our view. Okay, that's all for today. Uh, thanks for listening.